Hi there, everybody. Uh, this is the inside of a spring reverb unit. Um, not sure how prevalent these things are nowadays um, in the age of digital signal processors. You can see here that this is the input. This is the output. Put a nice big O there for myself. And what you have here is a transducer that uh, sends the uh, basically it's a it's a speaker that vibrates the spring. Then on this side, it's the reverse. It's a coil. In fact, you can see right there is the, the uh, coil to go and pick this up. Um, there's four springs, actually. You can see that there is a connector between them. And they're relatively loose. Um, and I believe the reason for that is so they don't pick up a resonance frequency of the guitar. This came out of a guitar. And the whole thing moves and it's uh, isolated to a degree by these um, pieces of foam. This did have just a piece of cardboard, very thin, thinner than poster board behind it. And I don't know how well you can see, but this was made by a subsidiary of the Hammond Organ Company. And there's all kinds of warnings about patents and how you're, just because you have this device doesn't mean that you can reproduce it and all that stuff like that. But I thought it'd be fun to see if we can do something with this. With an ebo. You can clearly hear the different uh, resonances. This one maybe be a Yeah, that's the way to make music. Well, this video is almost four minutes long be boring for most people. Hopefully somebody enjoys it. Good night.